section of road in this country. Just trying to go slow and make it through without damaging anything part. That doesn't look good, does it? We gotta go back to some road. We don't know which one. At least we have a, a view while we're lost. We notice our tires are damaged. So we just woke up um, and the owners actually of the house spotted us and walked out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I have no idea. I thought I saw something, but I didn't. We found a camping spot, which is also somebody's yard. We walked out and said hello, uh, which is good they didn't, you know, weren't cranky. Thank you. Switch to their property. Yeah, yeah. We have two days to get to Iran now. Our goal for today is to make it to Savon Lake in camp. So we're going to hit the road. Um, so it looks like we got a, a, a red sign that's saying not, go, not to go any further. Yeah, we don't. Uh, I that dude's going for it. Yeah, I'll he cut, just passed us and he's going. And he's I in mean, a Mercedes. It looks like he knows where he's going. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I, would, I would say we go. All right, we're going. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That doesn't look good, does it? Yikes. So maybe that's what he was trying to tell us back there at the uh, last stop. Right. <laughs> you just ask that dude if we can drive through? Yeah. yeah it kind of looks like you can. Yeah. Tony's going to walk up and uh, ask him if we can get through right here. That doesn't look too promising. <laughs> So it looks like it's a no-go, so we gotta go back to some road. We don't know which one, but uh, I guess we're just gonna start driving. Probably that, that town and hop back on that road that we were on. Up on the other side I of guess, the road. I guess, yeah, I mean, that's, that's yeah. all I can, I can think of. We could've, huh? Yeah. So if only they would've had some signs on English saying road was closed. If only they would've had like a Best big avoided. red circle sign that said don't enter. <laughs> Found another road, Tony. I believe I found a, something that resembles a road. Yeah. Uh, but this was, was a road too. They have a loose definition of road in this country. Right. So here's the uh, the second road. Hopefully, it, uh, we have better luck than uh, the first road. Let's see what happens. Uh, this looks a little rippy, but. <laughs> Roads keep on getting better, huh? Oh man. <laughs> Just trying to go slow and, and, and make it through without damaging the car any more than we have to. It looks like uh, we're connecting with the main road right here. Look at that, a paved road. <laughs> Looking pretty sweet. It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> So I think we just won. We stopped at the first roadside restaurant and they brought us into the kitchen and, and just pointed at things and we thumbs up and this is what we got. Watch out for that nose hair on that one there. Right. <laughs> So we're just getting to our campsite, setting up our tent, and we notice from all the bumpy roads today, our tires are damaged. Um, which is not a good sign saying that the roads are just going to keep on getting worse from this point forward. So why do you have to bend it back in place? So it doesn't get worse, so we don't lose our air. Mission accomplished? Yeah, I'm looking to look at that one. These toothbrushes have seen uh, better days. All right, so today was a little bit of a rough day with those roads, but uh, we're relaxing by the lake. Sip some, sipping in some beers in our planetary design cups and smoking some of our last Cubans before we hit Iran and have to abstain for a while. This lake is probably one of the nicer places that we've woken up next to. I mean, it definitely beats the, the ant hill I woke up on uh, the night before. Our goal today is to hit the border of Iran because this is our last day before we cross over.
Last night after we turned off the camera, a very friendly Armenian family invited us into their picnic, um, which got me thinking. We've come into their country as strangers that are lost, looking haggard from living out of a car, and to top it off, not speaking their language. And their response for us is to invite us in, welcome us, and split their meal with us. Let that sink in. I think myself personally have a lot to learn from the generosity of the people that we've met on this trip. I see a sky with a rainy car, but I'm running. I see a train. We just got near the border and our GPS started acting wonky. So we're trying to kind of... It's saying we go in the... Okay. How do you get to Iran? Iran is this way? This way? This way. To the left. <laughs> we got everybody pointing for us. Thanks. <laughs> Iran this way? Iran? No. Iran? Okay, thank you. <laughs> So we got to our uh, hotel, and we're sipping on our last beer that we'll be drinking for, for a little bit. Yep, yep, yep. And there's Tony. No camera, no.